Yo, what is up guys, Sergio Goldwyn here and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, as you see, I'm at 5,462 trophies right now. So I'm actually really close to Master 3 guys, which is of course the goal of today's episode. I'll probably end up, even if I get it in 2 wins, I'll probably end up doing like 3 or 4 matches. Depends how well we do of course, but in today's episode, I will be playing with this really cheap and quick cycle deck. Executioner Balloon Miner deck, so actually a really fun deck to play with in my opinion. Just because it cycles so quick, but also the defense, like sometimes you have to pull off, is actually really uh, yeah, fun in my opinion. Like cycling for example, Executioners, Tornado, Ice Spirit. Really annoying to play with, but in my opinion, really fun to uh, or to play against. Really annoying to play against, but really fun to play with. Um, yeah, in my opinion. So I would say let's just open to the first match, guys. So obviously, balloon is our win condition. Sometimes we do manage to actually deal a lot of damage with the minor, like chip damage. While for example, um, like they are focused like on the balloon, like defending the balloon, and they just let the minor go. But most of the times we do have the minor tanking for the balloon rather than, for example, having like the um, balloon tanking for the minor. Of course, like balloon is our main win condition. Uh, we don't have a, actually have a big spell. We do have Tornado and Zep, so we do have two spells. But looks like Connection lost. Hopefully he doesn't start off with like a Hawk Rider or something and we lost half the tower. Um, looks like he luckily didn't. Looks like he does go with his Valkyrie in the back. So it could actually be a mirror match. I actually did see a few people play this deck like in challenges and in, um, in later. That's also why I decided to make a video right now. Because I definitely love these type of decks. But looks like it's actually working yeah, pretty well right now. So let's actually go with a minor balloon into the opposite lane, knowing that we just got quite a lot of value from the executioner, and the executioner will still be able to take care of the um, inferno dragon. So it looks like the zap wasn't that great. Um, I'll just go with a tornado, and then I will just go with Skelly. So I do take a little bit of damage from the hawk rider. It looks like we were also able to look like two hits. Yeah, two hits. Actually, a really nice zap on his part brings down our lesser tower down to 2,051 HP. So he actually has Inferno Dragon and uh, Main Horde, so definitely we need to watch out. Like we'll probably have to end up maybe going with like a Tornado Zap for the um, Main Horde, or maybe like a Prediction Executioner. Let's actually go with a Valkyrie. Looks like he does go with his uh, Miner into the safe spot, even though we did use the Tornado. So let's see, guys. He actually also has a Prince, so really, really strange deck on his part. Uh, Hulk Rider. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Hulk Rider Prince, Inferno Dragon, Main Horde um minor deck so no idea what that is but let's actually go with a uh, ice spirit on defense prince will still be able to get two hits onto the tower unfortunately for us like we maybe could have gone like with a zap on defense but i actually didn't really want to um let's actually go with a tornado like this and let's see if we're able to kill um both of them let's actually go with a minor balloon right now knowing that we just killed inferno dragon he does have to go with his mean horde let's actually go with another tornado guys a little bit late with the set but i think the balloon still should be able to get at least one hit onto the tower so that was actually really close guys but it looks like we will be able to get a hit let's actually go with a valkyrie let's actually go with an ice spirit uh hawk rider still will be able to finish off the tower yeah we'll be able to finish off the tower so that's unfortunate for us but let's see guys so actually super strange deck but uh somehow like it works so well against us just because prince is already also pretty annoying for us to deal with um but let's see guys so let's actually go with a balloon let's go with a prediction tornado and let's then go with a zap so we will be able to at least take down his left side tower uh looks like he does also have a fireball so actually the fireball will be able to take care of the balloon um and we still need to take care of the left side tower guys let's actually go with a miner let's actually go with a tornado and the valkyrie should be able to take care of the tower looks like he also went with a defensive hawk rider so that's definitely really good for us uh, he also says oops of course like there was a big mistake on his part Let's actually go with the executioner into the back and we're still in this game guys Like I actually thought that we lost it over there when he fireballed on defense But we're still in this so again like super super strange deck like on ladder you never know like what you're uh, Going up against like sometimes or well, in this case like a prince hawk rider um, Kind of like a bait deck let's actually go with another tornado let's actually go with executioner I'm not sure if the tornado was actually good Um Let's see guys, let's probably go with a Valkyrie on defense. And let's then, I think, go with uh, Balloon Miner right now. There you go. I was already expecting the main horde, so we should be able to get at least one hit with the Balloon here. Uh, and of course, the death damage will be able to take care of... No, not take care of the tower, but will be able to do a lot of damage actually. Let's actually go with a Valkyrie. Let's actually go with Skelly's. Uh, I'm not sure if he has 7 cycle. 
I think he does have Zeppelin Cycle, so we're forced to go with the Ice Spirit. We're forced to go with the Executioner to the side. He does have Balloon in, uh, or Firebound Cycle, so I'm not sure if I want to go with a Balloon in front of all of this. Uh, I think I will still go with a Balloon. I'm not sure if he would go with a Fireball. Uh, looks like he does go with his Execution or his Inferno Dragon. Executioner does go down. Let's actually go with Skellies. He will uh, go with his Fireball. Let's go with the Executioner right now. Luckily for us, we do have our Tornado right now, so let's actually go with a Tornado on defense. Not sure if that's a good tornado. Um, we are able to deal quite a lot of damage to his tower, like still with the balloon pushes. So let's see if we're able to finish it off this time. We definitely need to because our rise of tower is down to 936 HP right now, guys. Let's see if we're able to do it. Looks like he actually goes with his main horde already. Let's actually go with a balloon in the middle. Let's go with a tornado like this. Uh, let's go with skellies like this. And it should be good game. Death damage is there, and we will be able to take care of his Ratchet Tower before we are actually able to, or before he's able to take care of our Ratchet Tower. So let's give it a good game, let's give it a well played, and let's give it a thumbs up. So definitely a really, really strange match to start off the episode with. Um, super strange deck on his part, but luckily for us, we were able to win the match. And it actually does put us one win away from Master 3, but as I mentioned earlier, I'll probably end up doing like three or four matches. Not sure though, but let's see. So let's give it a thumbs up and let's give it a good luck. So it looks like we start off with Valkyrie. We have Tornado. We have Skellies. We have the Zep. Next card is the Balloon. So let's see what he drops, guys. Looks like he starts off with a giant skeleton. Actually pretty cool. He has it golden. So he, it's actually a red hat and red gloves. It's actually pretty cool. Let's go with a Valkyrie. Let's see if he goes with something like a main horde, me and something like this. Then we will definitely go with our Executioner. Um, looks like he has an executioner on its own, so some kind of, I think like some kind of executioner tornado giant skeleton deck, which of course can be really good, especially against maybe some kind of beatdown deck, um, knowing like you can pull everything together. So let's actually go with, um, minor step on defense, let's go with a tornado towards, for his hawk rider. Let's go with skellies like this to distract his bandit, and let's then go with the ice spirit in the middle to freeze it. To be able to uh, like to allow all the towers to be able to kill it so let's actually go with a balloon at the bridge not sure if that's the right play if he has like minions or something but i feel like he's uh, quite low right now and it would force out some kind of spell looks like he actually decides to go with a rocket so that's <coughs> excuse me guys uh that's definitely really good for us knowing like that um yeah he just spent six elixir to counter our five elixir balloon and looks like he does cycle actually pretty awkward like with his giant skeleton executioner probably tornado as well not sure um if he actually has a tornado but i assume that he has a tornado and of course like his hawk rider like actually a really heavy deck so let's see looks like again uh same thing he he goes with his giant skeleton this time the valkyrie will actually be able to um be in range so let's actually go with an executioner let's actually go with a tornado um and it should be able to take care of the hawk rider looks like it is able to take care of the hawk rider so let's actually go with our Skeleton to cycle let's actually go with a balloon and i'll actually take the bandit and then i'll go with ice spirit on top of the bandit to be able to freeze it so it looks like he does go with his rocket uh kind of forgot about his rocket to be honest like i didn't really think about it probably should have went with a balloon miner instead rather than just a balloon like at the bridge but anyways guys so let's go with the executioner again he is able to deal quite a lot of damage to our left side tower uh with the hawk riders but this time we should be able to negate all of the damage let's go with a tornado um Let's go with Skellies. Let's actually go with a minor balloon right now. Okay, so I'm not sure that giant skeleton is actually in range of the tower. Hopefully it's not. No, it looks like it's not. So it looks like he actually does have a tornado. He was able to activate the king tower over there, so that's Wobble in his part. And it actually kind of evens up the tower damage. We do have a little bit of an uh, advantage, but it looks like he actually decides to go with his uh, rocket over here. So I'm not sure if that's the right play to make. Um, maybe it was. I mean, he's able to deal a lot of damage over here, especially with the Executioner still being alive. Let's actually go with a Miner Balloon. Balloon tanking for the Executioner. Miner in the place where he dropped the Executioner last time. Let's go with a Zip, but I think he cycled back. Yeah, he did cycle back to Tornado. So really, really strange matchup over here, guys. Um not sure if i will be able to win this one let's actually go with the executioner again he will probably go with his hawk rider yeah he continuously uh goes like with giant skeleton hawk rider pushes i think we should be able to take care of this one 
Go with a blue miner towards his tower. Looks like again he goes with his bandit. So really, really strange deck on his part. I will not zap this time just because it doesn't really matter. It won't really change anything. He might go with his um with his giant skeleton again. Looks like he does. Let's actually go with Skellies. Let's go with an Ice Spirit. Probably end up going with our Balloon again. Not sure if that was too aggressive. But let's go with a Prediction Miner for his Executioner. Looks like uh, we aren't able to get it. But Balloon might be able to lock onto the tower. Let's go with a Valkyrie. Of course, like he has Tornado again. Uh, not sure if we're able to win this one, guys. As I mentioned earlier, like he has Tornado, Executioner, Rocket, Giant Skeleton. Super, super annoying deck to play against. Um... But let's see, let's go with Skellies for his Executioner. Let's actually go with an Ice Spirit over here. Let's go with a Miner on defense. Um, let's go with a Balloon. I mean, he's he of course like does have his Tornado, but we might be able to outcycle him. Actually, I might be able to pull off this. Let's go with a Zep, and I think we might have... Yeah, that was GG. Okay, that was actually so close, guys. One HP Balloon. Miner Zep uh, to reset like both of the King Tower and the Crown Tower towards the Miner. Luckily for us, the Executioner didn't splash onto the Balloon, or maybe it did, but it still managed to get uh, yeah, a hit with 1 HP. And as you guys see, there it is, Master 3. So let's hop into one more match, guys, and that will do it for today's episode. That was actually a really long match, so the episode's already 11 minutes long. But as I mentioned earlier, I will probably do like 3 or 4 matches, so I guess I'll just do one more. Uh, and that will do it for the episode. Of course, if we do end up losing, like I will actually get back into a Master 3 League. But let's give it a thumbs up and let's give him the good luck. So we have uh, Valkyrie, Skeletons, Ice Spirit, Tornado. Next card is the Balloon. So let's actually go with the Ice Spirit at the bridge, guys. Looks like he also has Skeletons. So it could be some kind of um, Hawk Rider deck. Could be Expo, like Psycho deck. Could also be like Ice uh, Wizard, Expo deck. Something like this. But him having the Skeletons definitely and Arches definitely tells me that it's um, Expo, like Tesla, like 2.9. So let's actually go with a minor balloon. Maybe it's a little bit too aggressive, but I think it's fine. Actually force out quite a lot of elixir from him. Um, we'll also be able to take care of the Tesla. So let's see what he drops, guys. He might go aggressive with a balloon uh, or with an expo, knowing that we just used a balloon. So I definitely don't really like this matchup just because uh, <coughs> since we don't have a big spell, he's always able to just spam like his Teslas. Like since he cycles so quick, he's able to cycle Tesla like so quickly. So usually in this matchup, um if i win like i usually win in single elixir but i'm not sure if we're able to um yeah outplay him looks like he did fill a tesla over here so let's actually go with a valkyrie let's actually go with a balloon um and let's then go with a miner like tanking maybe he will even drop his archers there looks like he actually goes with his expo like this so that was definitely well playing his part definitely really solid expo so let's actually go with skeletons and ice spirit for distraction not sure if that was needed actually, but I think uh, it's fine. He might go with the Ice Spirit here. If he does, I will definitely zip. But it looks like he doesn't, so I guess I will just let the Arches be uh, take a little bit, a little bit of damage onto the right side. So definitely, um, yeah, so annoying like to play against Expo in my opinion. Looks like he calls good game, so not sure uh, why. Let's go with Valkyrie. Let's not go with a balloon. He might go with the Tesla preemptively. No, let's definitely go with a balloon. Looks like he actually filled his ice column. So let's go with a balloon. Let's go with a miner. Um, probably should have zapped there. Like the Tesla and the Archers. This way like we probably forced out a fireball from him. But I mean we still get death damage. So I'm still totally fine with that. Let's go with a Valkyrie. Uh, let's go with a balloon again. I will actually send the miner towards the tower. Knowing that the balloon for sure will be able to take care of the expo. This way like we end up getting some chip damage with the miner. So let's go with a zap. Um, Valkyrie isn't able to deal with the Tesla, but I think the balloon still one shots it, and it might actually be able to get death damage, uh, at least like kill the arches, but probably death damage. No, no death damage this time. Let's go with a balloon, let's go with uh, a Valkyrie, let's go with a miner. So I think it's actually a good game, guys. I mean, we're having him in a really good, um, well, for him, like a really bad cycle, for us in a really good cycle, like he's constantly focused on defense rather than going on offense, and we're able to constantly cycle like uh, Valkyrie balloons. As you guys see, he's calling good game. I actually lost this matchup earlier. Looks like he actually predicted um, the Valkyrie with the Balloon. So that's Wobbling on his part. Let's actually go with a Miner and a Zap. Balloon will not be able to get uh, anywhere close to the tower. We do need to watch out, actually. Like, he will actually go with his um, Expo right now, I think. No, looks like he actually doesn't. So I'm not sure if we should go aggressive again. 
yeah, looks like he does go with his uh, Expo. I'll actually go with a balloon over here, knowing that he will probably go with his Tesla. Looks like he actually decided to go with a Tesla on the inside. Um, let's go with a miner. Let's go with a Zep just to make sure like we actually get some chip damage. Miner is able to bring down a tower all the way to 143 HP. So actually two Zeps will be able to take care of it. Uh, do need to watch out, of course. Like I don't want to lose like cycling Zeps. Let's actually go with a miner. And I think, yeah, for sure, like, we should be able to cycle steps anyway. So let's go with the miner. Looks like he was able to predict it. He's actually predicting our miners pretty well. Uh, but anyways, like, we will just be able to cycle back to another zap. Let's see if he actually predicts this one again. Let's see if he does it another time. No, looks like this time he is not able to predict the miner. And we will be able to take care of the right set tower. So let's give him a good game. Let's give him a well played. And let's give him a thumbs up. Awesome episode, guys. Definitely really strange, though. Like, the first two matches uh, were definitely really strange decks. Like... Inferno Dragon, Minor, Hulk Rider, Prince, Mean Horde, <coughs> excuse me, like Fireball, um, second match, Giant Skeleton, Executioner, Tornado, Rocket Deck, we were still able to outplay him at the end, and then last match against 2.9 Expo Cycle Deck, so yeah, kind of a short episode guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, let me know if you guys want to see more ladder videos, I definitely want to push up, like for example, the next ladder video, like hitting for example, Champion League, um and then maybe even after like grand champion or eventually like ultimate champion let me know in the comment section down below guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode let me know if you guys um yeah we'll try out this deck like what you think about the deck personally i find it a really fun deck to play with so definitely go check or definitely like try it out guys let me know in the comment section down below what you think if you enjoyed this episode make sure to smack the like button if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, feel free to subscribe and i'll see you in my next videos bye guys